Hey everybody, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today I'm going to be taking a look, quick look, quick video here at the OtterBox commuter for the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now, you may have seen, you know, on the channel I did an unboxing, quick unboxing of the S20. I've also done a video with a dbrand skin talking about it and a case from Spigen. So this is actually in some other cases as well for the S20 series uh, from a few other manufacturers. OtterBox is one of my favorites. I've done a handful of OtterBox reviews on the channel for the iPhone and the Galaxy Note 10, 10 Plus. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing, quick look at the commuter for the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now, typically I also like the symmetry cases, but I haven't yet got one for for the S20 Ultra. So again, we'll just take a quick look at this. Try it on quickly and just kind of give you some of my thoughts. So same outer box case that you're always gonna get, kind of slide out and the case is just inside there. Now, if you don't recall, the uh, commuter series of the outer box cases are two piece cases. So it comes with a rubberized kind of insert where the phone kind of fits in there. And then you have a hard shell on the outside, which kind of protects, you know, the back of the phone and the top and bottom and some of the key areas on the sides. And, you know, this is when you get into the commuter line, you're talking about their certified drop protection because this is a more beefy case. Um, and if you're going to be spending a bunch of money on a phone like the S20 series, S20 Ultra, you do want to have a nice case, something that's going to add a lot of protection. Now, I did do a video prior of the Spigen Tough Armor case for the Galaxy S20 Ultra. And this is the case I've been using mostly on the phone uh, from day to day for the last few weeks, I guess. And the Spigen case is great cases. As I mentioned, there's a, I'll link to the, uh, uh, the, the, the video I did of this uh, in the card above. But like I said, I mean, Spigen, great cases. I've used them on pretty much every phone I've owned because I like the kickstand. I don't always use a kickstand, but it's nice to have a kickstand. So that would be probably the only thing that I would, you know, personally not like about uh, or the commuter or the symmetry or any of the OtterBox cases because they don't have a built-in stand. But you can get around that if you get a pop socket or something else like that, etc. So just want to say, you know, this I did a review of. Take a look at that. So we'll go ahead and put this on. So again, Samsung S20 Ultra. This has the D-Brand Matrix skin on the back, which I think is probably one of the cooler skins that they offer. I really like that, so definitely check that out. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty sweet looking. I like the texture, you know, the look. So we'll go ahead and put this on. So you do get the, you know, it's easy to kind of slide the rubber piece on, and then you just put the rest of the case on as well. And I guess what I like about even the commuter, right? So I think the symmetry is, is pretty minimal, but the commuter is not really that bad. I mean, it doesn't add a ton of bulk uh, to the phone, but it gives you some really good protection, right? You get these, these rubber kind of corners on the back, um, you know, the side, you get the rubber pieces, and it kind of extends to the corners of the, of the device. I don't know if you can see on the top, you know, this is rubber here. So, you know, most likely if you're dropping this and it hits a corner, it's gonna hit the corner, you know, one of these edges here. So you have the rubber, if it hit on the plastic, it would still be, you know, protected with the rubber underneath. Same thing on this side. And then the bottom, uh, you know, same sort of thing. You know, it's really right up to the corner. There's the rubber and whatnot. So now on these cases, uh, the commuter series does have a kind of like a little dust plug, I guess, for the USB-C port, but the rest of the ports obviously are open because they have the microphone and you have a speaker at the bottom. And from the perspective of screen protection, this does have quite a nice, ra uh, you know, raised edge at the top and bottom. I don't even know if I'm focused on this correctly. Hopefully you can see that. So it gives you quite a bit of coverage to keep it off, the, off of it. So if you have it on flat surface, you have quite a bit of space between the screen and where it would be touching uh, a table or a flat surface because of these, the raised edges on the front and the uh, top and bottom. Now this also gives you pretty good coverage on the side. 
So as you can see, like the radius on these corners of the, the new Samsung devices, it's not as huge as, as it was before on some of the other Samsung devices. It's certainly not as huge as something like the OnePlus 7 Pro where it has that really exaggerated radius on the corner, which is always hard to protect when, with a case because if the case comes up too high, it kind of covers the corner of the glass and then you have some problems with seeing the screen, etc. But on the S20 series, they've reduced that, which I like a lot because you, you and then you have the case can actually come up a little bit higher, doesn't obstruct the corner or the viewing angle on the phone on the, on the side, but then it also gives you a little bit better protection on the edges. So again, if you're dropping this thing, um, less likely to crack the glass on the corner because of the way that the phone is made, not necessarily just the case, but the case adds to the protection because it's able to come up a little bit higher uh, and add a, a, a actually a little bit more protection. Now this does have the Samsung uh, plastic uh, screen protector installed on it, the one that kind of comes with the phone. I did not remove that. This uh, does not interfere with that at all, this case. So yeah, I mean, this is overall just a really, really nice case. I do, like I said, I love OtterBox. You know, they're a little bit more expensive than others, but they're just, you know, really well made, really awesome cases. You can see here the cutout's pretty, you know, it's just correct, right? Uh, it has those little concave edges there and um, gives you quite a bit of protection. I don't know if you can even see as I kind of rotate this a little bit. You know the the actual camera lens is a little is recessed, so it's not flush. So if you put this face down, you know it's gonna it's gonna give you a little bit of protection from actually touching the camera module on anything. From the aspect of grip and holding it, right? You know, feels good in the hands, <laughs> as Flossy might say, uh, ladies, <laughs> um, giggity <laughs> sort of thing. I can't, I can't, you know, steal his thunder, but Flossie's awesome. Love watching his reviews. Uh, but, you know, it gives you a really, a really good grip in the hand, um, and, and it's got the retention in all the right places. Because if you're holding it like this, right, you know, generally this is how I would be holding it. And up here, um, obviously the power button and the volume up-down rocker, and then it has this kind of slash, um, slash kind of uh, texture uh, on here that adds a little bit of grip. So if you're, you know... You're kind of gripping around. Uh, you can feel that, and it gives you a little bit of friction to hold. Same thing at the bottom. This is plastic here, but once you get down here, that, that's the rubber piece. So even in your hand, you kind of get a little bit of that rubber uh, resistance on your, on, on your palm if you're holding it that way. So that's good. And then this whole side, same thing, top and bottom, it's got the rubber. So if you're holding it, it doesn't feel slippery in your hand, and when you grab it, you, you really grab it. So it's one of those things when if you're pulling it out of your pocket or something like that, you don't want something that's like totally slick on the side so that you're going to like slip out and drop it or something. So again, very well made in that in that regard as well. So that's about it. Um, like I said, OtterBox, really love them. Great cases. This is not an exception to that for the Galaxy S20 Ultra. And I did test it off camera with the wireless charging. So uh, the wireless charging works fine with this case using the Samsung charger that I have. I have a Samsung fast charger. That works fine. Uh, the reverse wireless charging also does work uh, through the case. So again, it hasn't, doesn't add enough thickness. So that's a, at all a problem. So that's one thing uh, folks often ask is if you have these cases, does it affect the charging performance? for charging and or reverse wireless charging. And it does not, at least in my experience. So just wanna bring that up as well. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and post those below. And if I get any more cases for the S20 Ultra, I'll definitely be reviewing them on the channel as well, taking a look at them. This is Andrew from TS4Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.